We just saw a video for the SoCal Harvest. Jonathan, it's next Sunday night at Angel Stadium. Yeah. And last year, we weren't able to meet for the first time in 31 years. Yep. We've been doing this thing consecutively. But uh, we thought, man, what if we could get it for even one night? We checked it out. It was available. And I think the Lord has opened the doors. So it's going to be an amazing crusade uh, for King and Country will be there. They're mm -hmm. fantastic. They are. And our good friend Phil Wickham, that's leading us in worship here at Harvest at Home. Yeah. And then I have a message uh, with the presentation of the gospel, mm. like we've done for all these years. Mm -hmm. And so we're hoping that folks will start uh, praying for people they know that don't know the Lord. And if right. you can't come in person, uh, watch it at your home with someone mm -hmm. or send a link and have them watch it wherever they are. Or if you can, come in person and join us at Angel Stadium on October 3rd. Yeah, that's right. And if you're not in person, man, make sure that you tune in live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're over here on the West Coast. We're here in Orange County uh, at Anaheim Stadium. It's going to be a great time, but make sure you tune in live. Share it with your Facebook friends. Share it on social media. Um, one thing you could do, too, is we've seen people do this a number of times. They have watch parties in their home. Yeah. Uh, they have some, you know, cook up some barbecue, get some pizza, have some friends over, awesome. turn it on on the TV. And uh, it's a great opportunity um, to watch an awesome event. King and Country is a really fun band to watch, yeah. uh, even via video. It comes across so well. And Phil, of course, as you've already seen, awesome yeah. worship leader. But they're going to get to hear the great message of the gospel. Yes, they really are. So... You know, speaking of these crusades, you know, we've had well over 500,000 people walk in the field and make a profession of faith to follow Christ. But mm -hmm. for me, it's all about those individual stories. Mm -hmm. And I think of a very young man who came with his family. His name is Kareem Nakui. Mm -hmm. And his father was mm -hmm. determined for all of his children to come to Christ. So they came down on the field in 2016 and Kareem gave his life to Jesus Christ. Yes. Not long after that, at the age of 18, Kareem joined the Marine Corps. And I was so excited to be a Marine. It was something he was looking forward to ever since he'd been a little boy. Yeah. And sadly, Kareem was one of the 13 service members who died in Kabul, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and that terrorist bombing. And, uh, and in the last moments of his life, Kareem was getting people to safety, Afghan families to safety, and he went to help a young child, and the blast happened, yes. and he died. Wow. So we were asked by the family uh, to do the service at Harvest Christian Fellowship, and it was a powerful service yes, as we honored a true American hero. Here's just a little video clip of what happened. 13 young Americans who gave their lives to protect others in Afghanistan. Marine Lance Corporal Kareem Nikowe, 20, from Norco, California. His father saying he did not hesitate to be called to duty. We were told that just before Kareem passed, he had saved three families. He passed up a child and ran back into the crowd when his life was taken. Mr. Red, oh, white, and blue, lay down his line. Mr. Red, oh, white, and blue. To me, the only thing that mattered was the salvation of my son. That was it. That's all I ever cared about. We gave our lives to Jesus at Harvest 2016. And when that happened, I was really happy. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. At a time like this, we come with broken hearts. We come with questions. We don't grieve hopelessly, we grieve hopefully. I read that they are considering giving Kareem and the 12 other servicemen that died in Afghanistan a congressional gold medal. That's more than deserved, and they should do that. But let me also add this. Kareem has received a reward even greater than that already in heaven because of his faithfulness to the Lord. Amazing you know, after watching that clip and, and knowing some of Kareem's story, I, I can't just help but remember the words of Jesus when he said, greater love has no man than this, That's right. the one who lays down his life for his friends. 
Kareem died a hero, yeah. laying down his life, literally protecting men, women, and children, ushering them to safety. And it really does just make you swell up with, with national pride. Yeah. And just we're, we're so proud of this young man. Our hearts are broken. But knowing that he died doing something so heroic yeah. um, is such a beautiful testament to his life, to his character, and also his Savior. Because when we see these young men and women go and put their lives on the line, um, we're so uh, amazed and, are, and we're so proud of them, what they do, fighting for our country and our first responders as well. But the greatest one who did this of all is Jesus Christ, yeah. who laid down his life for us. He was the God-man, yeah. fully God, fully man, coming down from heaven, laying his life down for us. And we we're so thankful um, that Kareem put his faith in Jesus Christ, yeah. and he did it at the Harvest Crusade. And that is why we do what we do. Yeah. We want to see more people in heaven. We want yes. to see more stories like Kareem's, more people impacted because of the gospel. And that's what we're going to be doing October 3rd. And that's what you're going to be doing at the end of the message today. Yeah. We don't wait for one time a year, one event a year right. to do this, to proclaim the gospel. We do it every service, every time without fail.